welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new here, my name is Tori Tannen, and today I'm gonna to be doing a little DIY project. So I'm gonna be making a plant holder. I guess it's a basketball pot for a plant. So what you're gonna need is a pot and a plant and an old basketball or a new one, whichever you wanna use. Um, I'm just trying to repurpose an old basketball, but you can also just use one that you just bought. Doesn't really matter. And then some paint. And if you don't want to paint the basketball and just have the old rustic look, which I think would also be cool, um, you don't need the paint, but I have some white and black paint. And I'm gonna be showing you guys that first step. And then you're also going to need a knife. If you are a child, do not do this without a parent. First step is cutting the basketball open because we're gonna need an opening for the plant to obviously go inside of the basketball. So, I'm thinking that I want the wording in front, obviously. And then the opening is gonna be up here. I'm gonna measure this pot to see how wide I need it, basically. Four and a half inches across. So I'm gonna go five inches across for the opening this way. And I'm just gonna mark it with a marker just to make sure I don't mess it up. So I don't know if you can see that, but I just put little small tick marks on the ball to make sure I'm in line of where I'm going to place the plant. It's probably gonna pop. I've never done this before or seen the inside of a basketball, so hopefully this works. Uh-oh. This is definitely not sharp enough. I need like an exacto knife. <laughs> Mom, do we have anything sharper? Oh, no. oh yeah, this is working better. We're just gonna cut in a circle along this Line. The air in this ball does not smell very good. <sighs> oh, it is hot out here today. I'm about halfway done. Progress report. Almost there. No! Okay, well that's very sad. Yeah, I might have to go in with this dull guy now. Oh, this works now. Okay, I did it, finally. If you've ever wondered what the inside of a basketball looks like, this is what it looks like. We got like three layers of rubber here, which that means it's a heavy duty basketball. Look at that, there's like this layer of, I don't even know what that is. We got different layers of rubber, kind of interesting. Okay, but back to the DIY. This is where our plant will be going in. What? See, I could, I could leave it like that and it already looks cool. Obviously we need to do some touching up but look how easy that is. Old basketball made into a plant holder. Cool decoration, if you ask me. Now what I'm gonna be doing to spice it up a little bit is painting this white and then the lettering I'm gonna do in black. And it's just gonna make it look nice and clean, cool, and an even better decoration because this, this ball is pretty dirty. Also, I'm wearing a swimsuit under this if this comes up, so don't worry. I'm doing this and you see something. And here we go. Okay, so I finished painting the basketball all white. It's looking pretty good. But I have to let this dry before I put the black lettering on it and the line. So I'm going to let this dry and then come back to you guys and finish painting that and then show you guys the rest of how I put the plant in and a couple finishing touches. Okay guys, I'm now back and this is fully dry and it's looking good. It kind of looks like a mullet ball now, but I'm liking how it's looking. And I'm now just going to go in with the black paint and go... You can kind of see the lettering, but I'm just going to go through and paint all of that black and go along the lines as well and paint that black just to 
It's gonna kind of look like my shirt. Just kind of winging it here. I'm gonna paint over this like I am. Make sure you go on the ridges and not the indents because I almost started painting on the indents and that would not have turned out right. Okay, it's now the next day. I fully painted the ball. I added all the black lettering and the stripes on here. And in addition to that, I will show you guys how I did this, but I just bought some rubber edging. I think that's what it's called off Amazon, like $10. Because obviously after I cut it, there was some rough edges at the top. So all you have to do is take this. I got the 1 16th of an inch size so you, as you can see it's like that and you really you just pry it open and, and you just press it onto the edge once you have all of the rubber applied to the top i really think it just adds some finishing touches obviously you don't have to do that um, if you don't want to but you can and i think it makes it look very nice so i have this finished and all you have to do is basically put the plant in here and also one second I also have this old lid to a candle that I'm going to use as its base so it doesn't roll. Okay, there we go. You guys are a little bit further back so you can see the bottom, but basically I'm just using this thing as a stabilizer. Anything will work. Um, it's just to hold the ball in place. And then you just take your plant and this is a fake plant. So it's nice that I can maneuver all the leaves to make it look how I want it to look. Okay, as I was saying, this is a fake plant, so I'm able to, there's wires in the leaves, so you can move them around however you want it to look. And basically, you guys can't really tell, but here we have it. This is the final product, our basketball planter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment. Let me know if you guys like videos like this, um, different artsy things. If you don't, let me know that too. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in another video. Deuces!